And new details tonight about the missing World War II bomber it was built in San Diego and then lost at sea nearly 75 years ago. It was discovered near Papua New Guinea thanks to a local Scripps researcher and his team. As 10 News anchor Ariel Wessler shows us, it's bringing families closure. This was done by a professional model builder in Camarillo, California. Who Scott Althaus keeps this replica years. of the B-24 bomber that became the final resting place for his cousin during World War II. Lieutenant Tom Kelly was the bombardier on the crew Heaven Can Wait, part of the famous squadron known as the Jolly Rogers. American bombers assemble at a secret aerodrome somewhere along the northern tip of Australia. March 11, 1944, while on a mission to bomb Japanese anti-aircraft batteries around Hansa Bay in the South Pacific, the 11-person crew is shot down by enemy fire. My family had been involved in a what was then a four-year research project. They gave that research to Project Recover, a group of marine scientists, archaeologists, and historians that use science and advanced technology to find missing aircraft with servicemen still on board. It's real easy to look on a map and say, hey, X marks the spot, and it turns out that X could be several square miles. In October 2017, Scripps oceanographer Eric Terrell and his team set out on a three-week expedition. Uh, these robots allow us to do very detailed surveys of the seabed using scanning sonar. After 11 days on the water covering roughly 6,000 acres, it would be like looking for a baseball in a cornfield blindfolded. And talking to locals. You know, and fishermen that know maybe their nets got snagged in a particular area. Eureka. It was, again, it was a mixture of elation and sadness. It's very humbling knowing that this is really a grave site of historical importance. Scott's cousin no longer just a name and face in black and white. For the first time in 74 years, we've seen what his grave looks like. And that is a priceless gift. Being able to give back to the families is what makes this project so special. Today, there are still more than 72,000 missing U.S. service members from World War II. It's remarkable to think that um, they carry this loss for that many decades and then to actually see it play out is just amazing. Ariel Wessler, 10 News. Closure so deserved. Lieutenant Kelly's family has already been in contact with the families of seven other crew members on the plane. They're hoping the military will recover the remains from the wreckage. 